Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Sonic Yoda from SegaRiven.com, and welcome to our Sonic Amateur Games Expo 2021 coverage. In this video, we're taking a look at Sonic the Hedgehog Classic 2, developed by Hez, Damizian, and Nihil. Now, I've been very excited about this for a very long, very long time, and this has been in development for quite a long time as well. Um, big fan of the original Sonic Classic, uh, complete fan game, well worth playing if you haven't played it already, and this is the direct follow-up, and as a result, it is also a fantastic game. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to tell you, to be honest with you. Um, Hez makes really, really good classic-style Sonic games in the 16-bit mold, and this very much follows that as well. Gorgeous pixel art throughout the board, looks absolutely fantastic, animates beautifully, loads of layers of parallax scrolling, it just looks stunning. Um, you've got four playable characters in the form of Sonic, Tails, Knuckles and Fang, or Knack, depending on where you uh, are from. And uh, yeah, they all have different abilities um, and play a little bit differently, but the moment to moment gameplay is very much classic Sonic, you're jumping around and um, jumping on Mad Nicks and trying to defeat Dr. Robotnik, um, which is very much the case here. Stage design is fantastic, um, really good mix of precision platforming and lovely speedy bits as a reward for doing well. Um, yeah, I just, the graphics in particular are just the thing for me. Like, I mean, there there are definitely some reused bits here in, in places. I noticed some, some Marble Garden stuff in um, the Ruin stage, but for the most part they've all been kind of remixed or retouched up to make them look more original. Um, but basically evoke the look of an old 16-bit uh, Sonic game, but obviously without the colour palette lim limitations. So this also has a very sort of Sonic Mania kind of uh, feel to it in that uh, we've got a nice big widescreen display, lots of colours on screen, uh, really, really detailed graphics, and just lovely animation. Uh, um, it's honestly something I just cannot recommend enough, to be honest with you. I think I've had um, just one of the best experiences out of a classic 16-bit uh, Sonic fan game out of this experience and uh, yeah it is really really worth your time it appears to be an entirely full game as far as I can tell um, and there are a few quirks that I did notice as I was going through hopefully there are some bug fixes can come in and sort these out uh, they were very minor though I just I noticed at one point I had a flame shield equipped and when I um, hit a monitor for a lightning shield it didn't equip it basically it just stayed on the flame shield which is a bit of a strange thing also i noticed that at one point when i had a flame shield i got hit by some flame projectiles and i lost the shield whereas normally i would have expected to be a bit protected by flame projectiles you know so yeah again minor complaint but um it was just one of those things i noticed to be honest with you and hopefully it's something that can be fixed in a bug fix but overall this is an easy recommendation. Sonic Classic 2 is a great playing, great looking, classic 16-bit style fan game, but with the perks of, you know, no colour limitations from, you know, the Mega Drive, and obviously a nice big widescreen display so you can see what's coming up. Um, it's fantastic. I cannot recommend this enough. Like I say, some minor bugs there, which hopefully can get fixed, but all in all, this is an easy recommendation to make. Please go and play Sonic Classic 2.